it was difficult for me to understand how uh, a city in the United States of America in the 21st century could potentially have mass graves in its community and not have determined if they were paid. And so I uh, started working with uh, my colleague on the city council, Jack Henderson. We met with the state archaeologist who walked us through uh, the work that had been done on this to date. And, and I really do want to thank Senator Horner, uh, one for share this, but Senator Horner has been working on this issue for decades, trying to do the right thing. Uh, but we found that there was ground penetrating radar that had been used that had identified anomalies that were consistent with graves in, in several different locations in Tulsa. And then uh, what the archaeologists told us was we just need, because the city of Tulsa has site control over these places, we talked to two of the three. One is a city park and the other is a city cemetery. We need the city to give us to go ahead to do that. And in our form of government, the mayor is the person who gets to get that go ahead. So we presented our findings to the administration at the time, and nothing happened. Uh, the science is advanced, the technology is far advanced from where it was the last time anybody looked at this. The challenge for us in this is, just to be completely candid, uh, the city has not earned trust on doing this the right way. Uh, both in its actions to fail to protect black Tulsans during the massacre and to wait 98 years to actually start this investigation instead of doing it right after the massacre occurred. That we needed to have folks from outside the city government providing oversight over this process who could provide transparency for the whole community around this process to be able to, to hold the city accountable that we're doing it the right way uh, and to give reassurance to the citizens that this is being done the right way or to point out if it isn't being done the right way where we need to redirect. Why, you know, why not just move on? Uh, why don't we just let history, that's in the past, what good does it do to look at this? And my answer to them and I'm, I've been pleased that it seems to resonate and get through to folks, is that if you get murdered in Tulsa, we have a very basic contact with you that we will do everything we can to find out what happened to you and to render justice for your family. Uh, and our homicide department has amongst the best records in the nation in doing that. And in my mind, and I think in the policymakers of the city's mind, it doesn't matter if you were murdered two weeks ago or 98 years ago. No family in this community should have to have as part of their family story that an awful event happens and their family member just disappeared and they never knew what happened. That's not acceptable. Um, and that is why we're treating this as a homicide.